Well, hello there. It's the sixth tutorial on how to use Photoshop, and the topic this time is layer blending modes. After our last tutorial where we showed you how layers work, it's time to show you what you can do to your layers. We've already got our handy Photoshop document open, and it's easy to see the layers we've got set up from the previous tutorial. What we're going to do now is show off how you can create neat effects on the layers so you can create stunning documents. What we call effects on layers is called layer blending. Layer blending is a way we can add effects that will create a stronger image, change how the image looks, and more. Right click a layer over here and click on blending options. Once you do this, you can see a wealth of options here to add effects to your layer. One option that is quite popular, especially with text, is the stroke option. The stroke option allows you to create an extra highlight of color around the object in your layer. Doing this can create a nice border effect to make objects stand out. The next option that can have a great effect on your image and one you will get used to quickly is Drop Shadow. Drop Shadow makes your object look like it's floating above whatever you have it over in your layer order. You can adjust the direction of the shadow, the opacity, and much more. My last option that I'll go over is the color overlay. An option to completely black out or color out an image to create silhouettes, remove features, and more. The color overlay can allow you to create some interesting backdrops for your future images. There are more options in the layer blending menu, and I encourage you to check them out and see what works best with your images.